here and there. Sonny, you've been airbrushing for quite a few years, mate. Yeah, um, I've been airbrushing on and off for about 12 to 15 years. If somebody, you know, wanted to take up airbrushing, what would they have to do? Um, first of all, probably just to um, have a passion, real passion for um, um, learning. I mean, I've done it for a few years and, and I'm still learning. But I, I guess the big thing about airbrushing, you don't have to be um, the ultimate artist, do you, to, to get a good result? No, no, you don't have to be an artist, but, but that helps. Skulls are probably a pretty common sort of a theme these days on, on cars, but, um, you know, what, what would be a, another really common sort of a theme? Landscapes are coming back in, um, animals. Um, animals are really popular. Actually, I've seen, uh, I've seen some of your animal work. <laughs> That sounds a bit sus, doesn't it? But uh, Chris Holly's cars, mate, they've got uh, lions on them. Yeah, it was a, a lion's head uh, roaring and, and uh, flames on the mane going back, yeah. And, of course, when we're talking about flames, we're talking about what they refer to today as, uh, I guess, real flames. Yep, uh, true fire, as it were, from the States. True fire, is that what they call it? True fire, mate. <laughs> so what would it cost you to set up? Oh... If you've got a spare five hundred dollars, that's all. Yep, that, that's all you need. You need a good airbrush and a well, a compressor. You can go and buy at Bunnings for hundred bucks. As far as uh, paint goes for um, for vehicle use, what do you use there? Um, I use Space Coat. Um, the colours blend. It, it, it's good to work with, and um, the clear or the finish, two pack clear. Um, it, it's really durable, uh, strong, and, and and gives it depth. It certainly does, actually, some of the flames that I looked at there before, um, they're, they're really, it feels like you want to reach in and grab them. Don't, don't get too close, you might get burnt, but, <laughs> <laughs> but my goal is I want to do a big aeroplane, so if anyone out there has got a big aeroplane, I want to paint it. <laughs> well, any of our wealthy Grand Files viewers would really like a Learjet, it's got to be a good one, if anybody out there has got a you know, a lazy Learjet sitting around, they can spare for, how many, how long would you want to do a Learjet? Oh, probably, maybe a couple of months. A couple of months? Well, maybe, hey, let's go the whole hog. Dick Branson, if you're out there, mate, we'd love to paint a virgin jet. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've never painted a virgin before, have we? No.